Hi everyone, Jan Fursden here from Fursden House. Um, what you were looking at earlier and what I'm going to show you a video on uh, actually is or was a big mistake. Um, it started life as a, as in one, lace and fabric scrapbook. Um, but I got a little carried away and by the time I was through with the uh, signatures the book would have been oh about eight inches thick. Yeah, not exactly easy to write in. So I walked away from it for a while and fi I came up with an idea, why not try six smaller journals, sort of like in a, a folio style presentation. And so that's what they ended up uh, in, the, in the end as, is rather than one very large uh, unwieldy scrapbook or, or junk journal, they ended up as six smaller folio style journals. So here they are. Uh, my goal is to do uh, six short videos and I'll have them easily labeled so that you know which one's which, which one's next, so on and so forth. Um, just so you know, all journals are listed in my Etsy shop, and I'll put that link below. Um, also, all journal pockets measure five and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall, and they're about two inches thick. And each one is closed with either a velvet cream ribbon or a, uh, a white embroidered ribbon. So um, let's go ahead and get started. This is the first one that I did. I can show you sort of what it looks like. <laughs> you see my notes, journal number one. We'll put the note over here. That's okay. <laughs> now we'll try this again. This is the reverse. And there's the um, the video. Well, of course it's the video, it's the cover. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any recording. Can you tell? So anyway, there's the, um, there's the folio. And so we'll just go ahead and get started here. In this first pocket, this is um, bridal lace that um, I received. Uh, I bought it at a thrift shop, and it was in tatters and pieces, and now I've given it new life, and I'm so pleased. I love um, trying to make something out of nothing, or at least something out of very little. So this is the first envelope. Um, these are little shell buttons with uh, the faux uh, pearl centers. A little belly band if you'd like to use it as such. And then we open up the envelope. The envelope is made of vellum. I love that crunchy. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I love the, the feel of that. When you touch vellum, it's just nice and thick. Anyway, this is a, one of the first small journals. This is some vintage lace here and then some just some faux pearls. A little bit of lace on the back. And in here, this is a little notepad. I've tried to put as much journaling space as I could. I didn't want just a book of nothing but pages with intermittent stuff. I wanted more stuff with intermittent pages of writing. So I kind of combined the two and this is what I've come up with. So I've tried to give you as much as possible. On these journal cards they're uh, blank on the reverse. And um, this is a great way of putting like a, a favorite Bible verse, uh, writing that down, or a special date that you want to remember, or just a special little, I don't know, uh, an inspirational quote that you might have. That's what I use my smallest ones for and then the yeah, others, of course, I, I love to write so I'm, I'm always finding stuff to write on whether it's large or small. And um, I don't have the name of the paper papers that I use but I will get that and put that in the link below when we um, when we finish the video. So that will be on there as well. So that just slips in there and then this goes in here. This was so much fun to make. I think that's why I kept getting carried away because it was just a lot of fun to make. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got allergies and they're driving me nuts. Uh, this pocket is made from uh, antique um, lace here and uh, it's, uh, what is it, cotton, sort of like a cotton linen blend. It's just nice and thick. I love it. And then we have the little doily and then there's a, a vintage button. And then this is... Um, this is another little accident. This started out as a page in another journal I was working on and, and I ended up not using it. And so what I did was I just made, folded it over, stitched in some paper, and turned it into a little booklet. So that's you know, something to kind of remember. As I said, it was, it was just going to be a page and I'd gotten tired of it and I was like, no, no, no. It makes a great little booklet. have a belly band there and again some more spaces to write on. 
there were two separate packs of paper primarily that I used and again I I will put those names of those below but I really enjoyed working with them I've had them for a couple of years now and um, finally got to use them so they aren't new uh, they've been out for a while but I think I think they're still out here we have just the little ribbon of flowers and some more of this lace repeated from here and then another booklet a little bit larger this time and this is uh, vintage crocheted lace and then we have an authentic uh, photograph. It is not a photograph of a photograph. It is the actual um, photograph itself, the picture itself. Just some little vintage buttons on there. I just thought she looked so sweet there. And I tried several other items and none of them looked right. And I put hers on and it was like, okay, that's it. You know how something just clicks together. And there's the reverse. And inside, again, journaling space. As much as I could get in under my sewing machine to put you in there. And some more journal tags. Beautiful papers. Um, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I got them at um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's both. I think one came from one and one came from the other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Silly allergies. More journaling space. And then this is just some seam binding. And there's some vintage lace I've had for ages and a day. That goes there. You know, they never go in easily when you're on camera. There we go. And then we have the reverse, which is a belly band, so you can add your own ephemera in there if you'd like. Same as with the envelope in front or anywhere, really. And here we have another little notebook. You have the lace on the back with a little rose. And on the front, there's a little surprise on the front. Right in here is a miniature journal. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I made this miniature journal, oh, about 20 years ago, 18 to 20 years ago, when I was working on uh, making miniatures for dollhouses. And we, the idea was to make, you know, little, what was your interest to have in your dollhouse? Well, mine's writing. I love to write and uh, I love to read. And so I thought, well, I'll just make a miniature um, journal and I made several and so uh, these are going to be featured in this um, I did I put several in there but I just I love them they're so sweet but all those years ago I mean who would have thought that I would have ended up making uh, videos and stuff so we have here some more paper this is um, old vintage paper it's I love the old lined paper it's got that discoloration to it and here's a little bit of bling blue my favorite color so that's this one. Um, this is journal number one. And as I said, there will be a total of six uh, videos. Um, I appreciate you letting me know what you think. Uh, again, they are all for going to be for sale. They are listed in my Etsy shop, and I'll put that on the uh, link below. And if you would, please comment. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. If you'd like to see what I'm coming up with next. I never know what I'm coming up with, but somehow they seem to know. So... Um, hope you have a great day. It's beautiful June day and um, take care. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.